My advice if you're trying to figure out who to play in Mortal Kombat is to pick who you think looks the coolest. No character is impossibly difficult for beginners and it's important that you like your character. However, if you're looking for a general idea of each character's game plan or you're looking for a good beginner character to pick up and play, this video has you covered. I'm Diaphone, a top level player in multiple fighting games, but not Mortal Kombat, which is why I invited K7 Show Off, a top MK player fresh off of winning one of the first Mortal Kombat 1 tournaments. He took it. He got it. What a great game. Dude, K7. Oh my K7 goodness. K7 Show Off. Yo, K7, what's good, bro? Yo. Typically, the way I do these videos, we break down each of the characters' general game plan and discuss how good of a beginner character they are. So to determine the best characters, what I usually consider is how simple the character's game plan is, how easy it is to execute, and how versatile they are. Like, do they have the tools to handle zoning or rush town and that mm -hmm. sort of thing? In the NRS land, does that make sense or should something it, be? It does, but I, I just want to say in this game, that last question where you're like, are they versatile enough to handle other characters' game plans? It changes because there's char characters you pick, like you could play Katana or you could play like Sub-Zero, Reptile, whatever, whoever you want to play, but you can like stop them from being as weak depending on the character the cameo that you pick because oh uh, yeah that's, that's a good point so maybe we should just be considering it's like how easy is the game plan essentially yeah exactly like how okay. easy it is because you like, can always how pick easy the cameo the mm -hmm. the cameo was yeah, yeah it'll, it'll stop it weak. so like if your character can't mix then you pick like darius cameo you're like okay now i can mix so <laughs> i'm trying to think about how we should start this so i'm thinking like obviously there's some characters to me that stand out really easy like scorpion or sub-zero or like traditional beginner characters and then there's a character like katana like we could just like start down the row and start with katana but i actually don't know how i'd rank katana because she's like she's kind of one-dimensional like when i play against katanas online they're like just stag of this shit mm -hmm. and then yeah, she has just, like four hit string yeah it's just, it's just like a lot of stagger pressure but like that's not bad in nrs games you have to understand how um the frame advantage works to understand like what's good stagger pressure and what's not because in this game um you could have a move that's like minus five minus six minus seven but it's still good to use a stagger pressure because the total duration is very low by like total duration you just mean like there's not that much recovery so you can yeah exactly exactly Katana is very straightforward, right? You have a zoning game plan. You have some decent mm -hmm. stagger pressure on block. The thing is, I think as a new player, it's a lot easier to mix someone up with like high low as opposed to like stagger throw game. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So asking a newer player to use like weird arcing projectiles and, you know, setup tools and stuff like that is, is it's a little much. Past that, it's easy to just throw her projectiles and press her buttons. Like she's easy to play. But as far as like playing her and like getting wins, then you want to, you could probably definitely go for something so something more simple it's like okay i got a low and i got an overhead we we mean by arcing projectiles like the um like, uh it should be her down back one it goes around her like the fan like spins around her oh yeah, so, this yeah. move yeah, yeah yeah so you could hold forward and it'll go full screen or you could hold close and it'll catch somebody trying to jump at you like mm. if you hold those are like the weird arcing projectiles. yeah it's, a, it's definitely about. unorthodox yeah i get what you're saying yeah for sure and she and she also has like the i don't know if i want to call it an overhead because it, it looks like an overhead but if you do down back three uh it's like to catch people jumping but it will hit a, a, an oh opponent on the yeah that's, yeah that's like so unintuitive to use yeah exactly <laughs> like you, for a newer player you would want right. like okay projectile go straight hit them you know all right, so let's talk about Melina. So my first impressions of Melina is easy. This character is easy. I feel like she has easy. a lot of scrub killer uh, yeah, tactics, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, This is this, this is this, this is the move stuff. right here. <laughs> this, this is the S tier stuff. Yeah, Over so like where we're going. Yeah, you have overhead. You have what is this? This, this double overhead yeah. here. This move is like the easiest knowledge check in the game. Yeah, you have to stand block. Yeah, you have to stand block <laughs> that overhead. Yeah, and it's, and it's minus combo. eleven. It's a, it's a minus eleven overhead, and if you get hit, you get comboed. But here's the tech: <laughs> you can actually, you can actually up block that. By the way, like you block the size, and you can up block the overhead, so she's really close, and you can punish. But she's for sure a top tier beginner character because she has a two button three hit string. It's high overhead, and that's actually really strong. Um, because uh, usually by default, people are just crouch blocking. Anybody blocking low is just gonna get clipped. Even I still get clipped sometimes by it because uh, just the way that you have to play the game. Mm -hmm. But it's three hitting, so it's easy to hit confirm and it's safe on block. So you can never go wrong with this. Yeah, she also has this string. <laughs> that's also a, like a high low. I know they look different, but 
you know, from a beginner's perspective, like distinguishing between this and that, it's really, really tough. So it's like, mm, you can, no, no, you no. Can even, even, even for me, distinguishing from the yeah. two is very hard. <laughs> like everybody's getting hit by this. Yeah. So. And like, I also feel like her game plan is like pretty basic. Like, even if you're getting zoned out, like you have a teleport, right? Mm -hmm. So you can just. You have, yeah, you, you have a teleport. You have projectiles of your own. You have a bunch of just combo starting launchers and stuff. Like she has ball roll. So ball roll goes under projectiles. So if you're getting zoned out, you just kind of do it. Or you just do it in neutral. It's very fast as well. So if you're, if you're fighting against anybody that's willing to walk away from you, you have a 12 frame mid mid to just throw at them. All right, easy, yeah. easy, easy yeah, beginner. S tier, character. S tier, easy. S -tier great beginner. for beginners. <laughs> yes, great for beginners for sure. So Tanya is interesting, right? Tanya is actually someone I, I used to play in MKX. And I was thinking about picking her up in this one. And I couldn't quite figure out. So I think I think her base game plan like is pretty straightforward, right? You have a fireball, you have a ground fire, you have the air fireball. And then you have this mid, which is like, I think really, really insane just to control neutral. So you can just do this shit, this shit, this shit. And then go into overhead. The overhead's only minus six. No one's punishing yeah, no, that beginner ranks. No, yeah, no one is punishing that. Oh yeah, she also has that like up fireball. She just kind of like throws the staff up. She has a string off. Of oh it. yeah, they had this thing. Yeah, I could like, not deal with this shit. Have that? Yeah, you could probably like armor this on reaction. So I, mm -hmm. I just remember like my first day playing MK1, the Tanya player kept doing this shit. I'm like, how the fuck do I, how the fuck do I <laughs> yeah. get around that? I actually, I kind of get um, Gitana vibes, right? Like you, you have a like mm -hmm. unorthodox stoner that relies a lot on stagger pressure. Although I think like you have a little bit more built-in mix. I feel like you have a little mm -hmm. better wake up options. Yeah, what, what is her wake up by the way before we? Uh... Uh, of course, I go back this move. You have to block it high because if not, they just go over you. Oh, okay. Bro, this character has like a long ass move list. Yeah, too. I was about to say, like, you, you, see, <laughs> you, see, you see Sub Zero's move list? That shit is like, that's just ice clone, clone push, <laughs> ice ball. All right, so I think I think to uh, summarize, she has a lot of different tools, uh, very extensive move list, a lot of different things you can do with her. But I guess because of the complexity and because there is such a like a skill ceiling with her, I will put her yeah. in her intermediate. All right, so my my initial impression as a beginner, I thought Rain looked cool as hell, and then mm. I played him. I'm like, bro, I have no clue what to do with this character at all. I'm like, he That's looks weird. like a zoner, but he has like these really cool portal te uh, setups that I don't quite know how to implement and. And so my mm. initial thought is he's one of the harder ones in the game. He has a lot of tools that like other characters in this game don't have, right? Water portals or the water shield or like even like some of the projectiles, like the direction they go or like the movement they have. It feels like a much different character than most of the cast. Yeah, no, he definitely is a bit of a different character. I do want to say he's one of the hardest in the game, but he's not hard to pick up and play. Like if you want to get up and throw some projectiles and do his combos, yeah. you actually can. But to like master him, he's hard. Like for newer players, like we said before, like having an, like an overhead to combo off of, he, he has it. Yeah, so he, he has a low starter and an overhead starter. And for new players, I feel like that's always good. Like, <laughs> if, you have a, if you have a character that has both, you're always, you're always golden. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say I feel like Rain is harder than Katana and Tanya just because of how much more unorthodox his tools are. But I think there's more characters that have higher execution requirements, so I'm not going to put him in the hardest in the game. So we have to make a new tier. I already know who I would put in, like, probably, like, the hardest tier. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, the Kenshi and yeah, like that. Yeah, Kenshi's not. Like, you're, you're a new player, you're not picking that up. Yeah. Uh, Ashra, you're not picking that up. Garrus, Havoc, like, those characters are just... You just have to wait till later. And Shang. Oh, nah, for sure Shang. nah, nah, that, that... We're talking about Havoc. We're talking... Nah, that character is fucking piss easy, bro. You wake up four hits of armor, do, like, some random block string that's a... Has a can 50-50 and just keep repeating, bro. Throw fireballs in neutral and dash in. All right, you're a, you're a Havoc main. Like I said, I have competitive mindset brain, so it's hard for me to think like a new player could pick it up and actually just make this shit work. Because he has like unblockable tether. His projectiles yeah. aren't that easy to use. And he, he doesn't really have like overhead starter or low starter. And a lot of his moves are really slow. So like sometimes if you're not doing the right combo routes, your combos just drop. Like he just feels like you need to know what the fuck is going on to actually play him. So yeah, Havoc, the thing is you just like, you throw the fireball, you dash in. But I get what you're saying about like- Oh yeah, no, we could, we could definitely put him in easy tier. We could put him in easy tier. We could put him in easy tier. He's definitely not easiest. He's definitely not easiest. He's, he's not intermediate though. He's not like on that level. He's for sure like good for beginners. Like if you want to get on the game, press some buttons with a cool looking character and have easy access combo enter enders and like a uh, nice armor. Yeah, back, and, back you know, two, two low. Yeah, what is it? Back two, two low. 
Mm -hmm. Back to to lower, back to to throw. Yeah, <laughs> is what it is. Yeah, like it's it's, it's an easy it's gimmick. So yeah, it is very gimmicky, very easy. Same thing with his uh the move where he tears off his arm and smacks the opponent. It has four hits of armor, which is very very uncommon. Yeah, actually, he's the only character in the game with that yeah. much armor. So anybody that doesn't know what's going on, you're gonna get killed. So new killer for sure. Yeah, I, I agree. Good for beginners. You mentioned all the hardest people. So I actually agree mm -hmm. with a lot of them. So Kenshi, I agree with. Um, just the fact that he has like, he has a stance in itself, mm -hmm. I think. And it, the stance is like, you have to use it. I feel like if you're playing Kenshi without a stance, you're like kind of mm -hmm. trolling, if that makes sense. Yeah, he's an okay character without the stance, but with the stance, he becomes insane. He's broken, but it takes negative edging and it takes, you know, understanding of uh, resource management and positioning of the puppet and stuff like that which is not something that new beginners, you know, new players typically tend to, you know, gravitate towards. So I would definitely say one of the hardest in the game. Yeah, Kenshi was a character I wanted to play in the beta and I he's like, this character's too hard. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna play like Katana or some shit. All right, yeah. so who else do you say was hardest? Uh, Ashra. Oh, interesting. Cause she, she also is a stance character. So she has oh, the light true. mode. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she has a light stance and the dark stance and you start the game off in the light stance. So you have to, at some point in the game, switch to the dark stance to have access to her full potential. So what happens is when you're in dark stance, you put these marks on your opponent and you can stack up to three marks. And then when you switch to your light stance, some attack strings and some special moves that you do actually will either do more damage or have different properties such as launching the opponent. Oh. Yeah, so, so typically where a move is like, oh, you might think this move is trash, it doesn't really do anything. It's like, okay, that's because you didn't use dark stance first and then swap over and then, you know, use your stuff. And so you have to like keep track of how many stacks they have and then like if they have yeah. stacks then you go and- mm -hmm. okay. if, if, they have that, if they have any stacks on them, you can, you know, get certain uh, mix-ups off that aren't normally possible like mix ups into, into combos and certain moves like uh, certain special moves that you use in neutral will now launch so they have to be a little more careful i will say if you did want to just play her in light stance you can do that because she does have some pretty decent damage and decent combos without switching into dark stance so you can pick her up and play her i don't think she's one of the hardest in the game but i will say she's on, on the harder level yeah i, I agree with that. i'll put it in harder i think that's the thing that keeps me out of like hardest is one like obviously Kenji has like negative edge and stuff but like, i feel like some of her tools are just like very straightforward like this plus on block fireball that she has or, yeah the very straightforward to use like um, that two, overhead two move. one yeah you have the overhead move you have the two one which is like if you ever landed two one puts them in like a crumple state and then you can just yeah that's really like, good yeah yeah it's, it's it's definitely really like intuitive like it's really easy like oh this is for that this is for that. but like when you start to double little beepers like okay you need to start using this other stuff okay yeah. um you said shang I kind of agree oh, yeah, with Shang, Shang. But... I, I for sure sh think Shang is one of the hardest characters to use. Shang is like one of those characters where I'm like, this character looks really cool, but not only do you have like a second stance, so you have mm. that old Shang and young Shang, but then like, I feel like in order to use this full potential, you need to like learn every other character in the game in order to do like certain routes. Well, you don't, you actually can play Shang without switching to your opponent. But I feel like that's kind of what makes him, you know, makes him, makes him cheap. Yeah, I think even just in general, like the stance cancels that this character has between young and old. I think mm -hmm. definitely put him on uh, definitely on the harder end. I struggle to say hardest in the game just because I feel like that spot is just only for Kenshi. Like, I don't feel like any character could be on the same level. Yeah, but, yeah, but definitely have, having a swap back and forth between two stances when, you know, uh, the block strings change or your uh, attack strings change and you have a couple of different special moves you know it's, it's a little bit hard to keep track of as a newer player so yeah young ver young form versus old form like you literally have to remember a second set of strings mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is like kind of kind of really unintuitive i definitely think shang's harder than ashra i don't know if, i don't know if they belong in the same tier or not i mean it depends on how you want to go about this you could put kenshi in a tier by himself yeah um, i think i'll keep that could... I, th I do think kenshi is like legitimately like quite hard to play all right, um, we could do, we could talk about the easy characters real quick if you want to. Yeah, so who you think is like straight easiest in the game? Uh, easiest in the game? Probably Sub. Like Sub yeah, or that, uh, Liu Kang or something. Okay. Yeah, Sub-Zero or Liu Kang. Like, so I'll talk uh, about Sub because I, th I think he's the easiest and then I'll give you Liu Kang. I think he just has a tool for every situation, right? Like if people are throwing fireballs, you just throw your own fireball and it freezes and you get a trade combo. Yeah, so, or you use ice clone to- Yeah, and if they don't too. have a project, you just, you just keep ice cloning and it's like, they have to play at your pace, right? If they're zoning you, you also have a, like a slide, like, and all the tools are very like straightforward on how to use them, right? Like, okay, they slide. A slide's obviously meant to go in and defeat zoning. So like, to me, the game plan is just so obvious with what you're doing. And then once you get in, like you could just mix up with your overhead, right? And like, this is technically reactable, but no new player is gonna react. So you can just keep mixing them with the overhead. <laughs> it's, 
I, I think he just has a very straightforward game plan to, to execute. Yeah, definitely very straightforward. Like you got the overhead for launches, you know, you, you can block out projectiles and you have your own projectile as well. And you also have a really good far reaching slide to go under other projectiles. Just everything you could ask for, you have it. And he has a dive kick too. Like you can never- Oh yeah, I can't forget that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how could you forget? But yeah, uh, re really solid neutral and just really easy game plan to pull off overall. So for sure, great for beginners. So Liu Kang, I mean, to me, it's like you have fireballs that are very, very straightforward and easy to use. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, what are you what are you thinking? Yeah, we we just got the the easy low fireball, you know, high fireball. So like, throw the fireball to be out, out of cameos and stuff like that. Or you throw the low fireball if they're trying to duck the, the high fireball. And you have a uh, used to be flying kick back forward three, but it's not flying kick anymore. He like sends a dragon full screen, and if they uh you know if you get hit, he just he'll flying kick in afterwards. It's easy mid string like his forward four three string is really easy um to hit confirm and combo extend. And he has his uh, oh yeah, that's so yeah. good. Yeah, I don't know what the string is, but he has like a high overhead string or overhead string is like it's gonna clip in his all the time. So. He also has um, what's the, what's the launcher string he has? Back two three. Back two three. Back two three. Yeah. Is, is that just, is that just like really good or it, like, it's mid high, so you can duck it, but oh. um, newer players are not gonna know that. Like, you, uh, okay. you, you, you could just you could just press a launching string and it's safe on block. Like a new player is gonna sit there and block, yeah. and they're you're gonna have to hold <laughs> oh, that. And shit, if, I was like, this character's so cheap, bro. They just keep spamming this thing. But then, like, once they started to duck it, you should do forward two into forward four, forward two down one, you know, stuff like that, so. Oh, okay. So even at, like, a high level, it's still... It's yeah, still even good. at a high level, it's still pretty good, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, other easy, super easy characters. Um, Scorpion? Uh, yeah, for sure, easy easy character. They always make him easy in all the games. He's doing the same thing that Liu Kang does. He has, like, the mid-high launcher. Uh, I think the string is forward three, two for him, maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, he has, yeah, he has yeah, the Luke Kang string. Yeah, he has these, these are so thing. good at beginner level. It's actually crazy. Yeah, they're actually really good, and you can, they're, they're easy to combo off of. He also has forward four, so it's, it's, it's to help in his combo extensions as well. If you hit somebody in the air, you have an air uh, air combo launcher or an air combo extender, I should say. He has yeah, spear on the ground to make his combos really easy, and he has to teleport. So like, if you're getting spammed out by somebody, you all, you can just teleport in, and now you're fighting again. He's one of the characters that doesn't have a projectile, but still doesn't have to deal with zoning, which yeah. is always a good thing. I even at like low level, I feel like Spear's like decent to throw out, right? Yeah, it's just, like if you throw it out and then you call an assist or something, like you cover yourself that way. Yeah. Well, this is I think Baraka's great for beginners. I was, gonna, well. I was just gonna say that, yeah. Bro, this character is so fucking cheesy, especially with Cyrax. I was getting hit yeah. by that shit in rank, dude. Oh my god. I, th I think this shit's actually busted. The really? Baraka Cyrax. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baraka Cyrax probably. Sure. And you also, get, um, you also get a combo off of throw too with that. Baraka Barack is actually insane. Like, he has a projectile. He has like uh, an air move with the air spin. I think it's air down forward too. Any like air moves or you know that can just like alter the timing of your jump in. Like new players just get smoked by for some reason. <laughs> so you could just never go wrong with doing like yeah. jump kick down forward too. People are just gonna be getting hit. But what's like um, the long ass block string he has? It's like what is oh, it? The stand it's stand four. Just spam four. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this guy yeah. The, he's yeah. He's he's brain dead easy. <laughs> Um, and, and then you, you, call have, this you have four three. So yeah, you yeah. can literally just do this. <laughs> yeah, you just spam stand four, and after you're done spamming stand four, you just press and hold R1, and Cyrax will come cover you. Yep. Yeah. That, and that then you do it again. Good. I also, um, um, I actually have a really hard time distinguishing between his back three, which is this move. It's a mid low because it looks like the start mm -hmm. of his overhead. Oh yeah, four three. Like even though this is 29 to frame startup, like I feel like this startup kind of looks a little bit like it, and then you clip low, and they both lead into a full combo. So yeah, it's just that back three just looks like an overhead in general. So yeah. um, you just end up getting people end up getting clipped by this all day. And back three one actually launches, and it's the same effect as Liu Kang. Like it's high, so uh, you can duck it, but it's safe on block, so you can just do it. And then if they get <laughs> launched, you get a combo, and if they don't, then you're safe. yeah, you're fine. Other than that, I, I feel like no other character left belongs in that tier. So we have what we have nine characters left, and I, I think they all kind of. I, I, anyone else you think is good for beginners or? Um, a oh, reptile. He would be the last character I would say because I don't think he's very hard to play. Like you could just pick him up and just press buttons that work. You know, like it's not like anything. Oh too crazy. yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. Like he, yeah, he has he some has really the, um, really good strings. So just... Yeah, he has the he has the back three one string. Yep, which that's is the, low, the first like, one I was thinking of. Yeah. yeah, it's a low hit confirmable starter, and if you end if you end the string, it's back three one three. 
uh, he'll do the little uh, like the low slide at the end but you can still special cancel that um, oh wait oh, bro what i didn't even know that yeah. shit what um reptile players end up doing they'll do back three one three and then they'll do um ex run the ex back four two and then it's a two hit move with that like crosses up to the other side and then it hits overhead at the end so new players are probably gonna get <laughs> by the overhead and the overhead yeah, safe hit by that. So, yeah. <laughs> So you're just gonna press your hit convertible string and if it doesn't work then we're doing ex run and we're safe yep other than that we have um his back two overhead now the traditional like the regular just overhead knocks down but you, you can hold it and he'll do like a launching overhead yeah so we have an overhead and we have a low like that that's like two marks off the checklist for easy for beginners and third all we need is a projectile and lo and behold has it he has the uh, acid ball the down four three uh, and it launches, so you can just throw it out, and if they get hit by it, they're getting launched. And if you EX it, it'll go further, and it actually is two hits now. Oh, yeah, that EX fireball seems really, really good. Especially if you EX it and throw it slow. Yeah, because you can just, like, fireball. fall in behind it, and then yeah, you back can fall three behind one it. shit. Yeah, yeah, that seems really good. Okay, so let's just work our way down. Smoke, I feel like, is the scrub killer. <laughs> I think at, like, higher level, he's really hard, because you have, like, you have the dash cancels you have to do. Yeah, exactly. It's, like, dash cancel combos. I and... can't even do them. Yeah, and train mode. I actually would put him in good for beginners because now I think about it, you could just press back to launcher. You could just press uh, his low overhead string launcher. Like it's just easy to yeah. hit people. That's in what I'm combos. saying. I feel I feel like this character has like so many ways to like beat new players, right? Between the, yes, he's the low teleport killer. to this overhead mm -hmm. to he has low teleport. He has the overhead uh, smoke bomb teleport. And if you EX the smoke bomb, he oh, can go invis. Oh yeah, the invis move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of his strings are like really corny. It's the four three two string. It's low overhead. And, like, yeah, you, you already know what I'm talking like, about. <laughs> yeah, new new players are gonna get hit low overhead. Like yeah, low that... into an overhead string, you're getting hit. And you have to up block it to punish it. And you can also yeah. do another follow up. And he has strings that end in lows, so a lot of times people will stand up trying to like take their turn back sometimes. And if you're able to, you can just end the string in the low and they'll end up getting clipped. And you can <laughs> just run your pressure all over again. Cool. Uh, who we got left? Uh, Lee May. Yeah. Lee May. Uh, she's interesting. Uh, I, yeah. I think I would, she's I'm not one sure of like. Place her. Yeah, because um, I think she is pretty easy to play. But uh, as far as like scrub killer, I don't think she's really a scrub killer either. Actually, she, she's a little bit because she does have an overhead. It isn't. It doesn't combo, but it's still an overhead. Like we have one, and we have a low launcher. So uh, actually, I could I could see her being in uh, good for beginners. Actually, let me see what else we got. You can set the lanterns up. She has a fireball. She has a low launcher. We have the just the random like flip kick overhead. Oh yeah, we have a mid low string. I didn't even know she had that one. Stand four is plus on block. Four three is minus two, and then the one two afterwards is minus five. And you can special cancel in between. So it's a really easy special cancel move. Or you could do four three four, which is a launcher and it's plus on block. My goodness, no, this is easy for sure. Uh, I would say good for beginners. Um, she's not really intermediate. The only thing that about her that would be slightly like intermediate would be the uh, the lantern stuff. I don't feel like it's that hard to understand. You just throw the lantern up, and if you hit them in the air, or if you uppercut them into it, then it'll launch them. <laughs> I was trying to yeah, do it. Good. I'm pretty bad. Gears. Uh, he's definitely one of the harder characters in the game. Um, I would probably put him in the harder tier because he does have some weird stuff. Yeah, like, that's why I was like, I remember playing this with this character, and I'm like, bro, what, what do some of these moves do? <laughs> like, yeah, like the time I, stock I can, move, you have to like, it's yeah, like you build stock. You. Yeah, you have to stock it three times, and once you ha have it stocked up, you can stop time, and if your opponent is doing anything, think of it like Axel and Guilty Gears Drive, his um, one division, I think is what it's called. But yeah, whenever he stops the whole screen, think of it like that, pretty much. So if they're oh, doing Axel, anything, yeah, yeah. yeah, Axel, yeah, they'll be stuck in that state, and then you can just go do whatever you want, pretty much. You'll teleport behind them actually. You don't even have to dash in. But uh it takes charging, so like you need to understand what knockdowns you could do it off of, which is a higher level thing. He has the yeah. um the redo thing too. Yeah, the clone. The redo that's actually really good, but it also takes understanding of uh how to use two instances of attack strings to mix up your opponent, which I think is harder for new players for sure to learn. You can do an input or walk up and press a an attack string and the clone will do it for you while you can freely move. Like oh, like, so, oh yeah. so you like input the commands and then yeah, yeah. so yeah so you freeze cool. input your, input your commands and then you go do whatever you want to do like, sick. <laughs> yeah he's hella sick you have to set stuff like that up right and new players are not gonna be nah. like yeah your, your new players are just not gonna feel this really he has kind of what you could consider a projectile with his sandstorm move it's not really easy to use you have to like choose which distance you want to hit it at which it leaves 
room for missing it sometimes or misjudging yeah. distance. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking either hardest or hard. I'm, I'm down to put him in hardest, to be honest. We don't have to. We yeah, don't have to leave Kenshi on this. We don't have to leave Kenshi on this island. I'm, I'm down <laughs> to put him in hardest. Shao Kahn, did we cover him? No, no we, we didn't. didn't talk about Shao. Um, but Shao, I actually would say he's one of the harder characters in the game because to use his kit, he ha he has two stances as well. Uh, I I'll probably put him intermediate because he is easy for new players. If you just want to get in and do overhead grab or low grab, you can do yeah. that. You could do button button launcher with him and do easy combos. He's pretty easy, but um yeah that that's a that's a damage buff but it only applies on axe attacks oh, apply on all of his okay. attacks yeah and four two is an overhead i think four three is the launch four three is the low maybe if not four three it'd be back three. Oh yeah so you just like legit have high low yeah he is high, high low and they're, they're yeah they're, they're both uh, 20 frames so you don't even have to really think about like if they're gonna react or not you just can do it does he have the most health in the game i just um, noticed he has 1150 i have 1150 health that's kind of insane uh he he, he has 1100 i think and then yeah. whatever cameo you choose gives him health so serena gives yeah, so serena health. gives you 50. yeah mm. he has a um uh, a jab string that launches um and he just has an easy to use launcher too it's just down back three i definitely do think he's one of the easier characters in the game to just pick up and play if you just want to like press some buttons on shock you can but as far as like using him to his full potential he does have another stance when he puts down the axe it's down forward uh four so when you put down the axe with him he actually loses the axe and you gain access to um slightly different strings they're they're pretty much the same strings because it's not like new inputs or anything but he just doesn't have the axe in them so they have different uh, slightly different mm. properties so you have access to 224 now which is plus on block yeah that should be 224. Oh, okay oh shit. yeah and, and it, you could do 224 down back three and down back three actually doesn't knock down anymore when the axe is out of his hand launches and he said down back do. three yeah, it just launches. It oh launches. shit! When typically, if you have the axe, yeah, when typically you have the axe, yeah, actually do a knockdown. Get that knockdown. Okay. Yeah, but he's definitely easy to pick up and just press buttons with. Like jab launchers are always good for new players. Overhead low is always good for new players. Um, yeah, we could, we could do intermediate. I so I've played Johnny in the beta, mm -hmm. and I felt like he was an easier character for me personally to pick up than mm -hmm. Katana because I'm like I can just go in and do overhead strings, and no one's gonna yeah, no one's gonna exactly. block them, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no one's blocking them. He's for sure easy to play. He do, while he doesn't have a or anything, everything that he does is pretty much safe. So you can kind of just press the buttons on Johnny, like yeah, you just learn you just learn the strings and you press his buttons, and sometimes they're gonna get launched and you'll get some combos, and you know it's just you're just having fun. You're up you're up close playing Johnny Cage, man, like you know can't go back yeah yeah full screen shadow kick if you want to get in his wake up is shadow kick it is a high so they can duck it if they're pressing down one on your wake up but he also has nut punch nut punch is also in bowl. yeah if you, if you ex it it's actually in bowl. um and oh, there's no way to like there's no way to beat it you have to grab it yeah i, I think just because like you can get in you can press buttons and you can just mix mm -hmm. like i think it's yeah he has, good for me yeah he, he has like the little sway so you could just get in easy you have shadow kick you just throw yourself in with an with a cameo and cover yourself and he has really easy to use block strings not even block strings uh attack strings that have lows like they have mix-ups built into them yeah. you don't have to really think too hard about it you just press the buttons and if they get hit you combo what's your thoughts on reiko reiko i actually think he's pretty easy I, this is like character I probably know the least about. As a fighting game player, think of anything in your head that a fighting game character could have, and he probably has it. <laughs> yeah, you got projectile. I, I'm not joking. You got Everything. command grab. Yep. This character's pretty fast too. Jeez. Yeah, he's fast. You got projectile. You got a command grab. You, you just have you have a, um a parry. Parry. That's this. Yeah. yeah. Um, he has a string into a launcher, which is his forward one two four string. So you could just do the string, and if they get hit by the last hit, they get launched. Yeah, seems pretty um, straightforward. Just zone and then get in. Yeah, your yeah. You just, and he, he has really long range buttons, like his forward four. I uh, just hit like uh, the what? red effects. Yeah, the red effects are actually Whoa. hurt boxes. Yeah, same, same thing with stand three. Stand Holy three crap! Is, uh, okay. Yeah, look at stand three. Stand three hits really high up in the air. It's really fast. So it's like uh, back, super good back three. Yeah, back three is really good. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, all these moves like all the red effects. Those are all him. Easy to use for the most part. Everything that he does is pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. The only reason I will say he's slightly hard is because if you want to make use of the command grab, it is a half circle forward input, so it's slightly harder for two players. But other than that, is like he has like the overhead. You just press it every now and then. Yeah, very straightforward mix between command grab, overhead. <laughs> yeah, command grab, overhead. He doesn't have a low starter. Yeah, he does not have a low starter though. So like as far as like playing against other new players goes, it's not really gonna um, be easy to open people up. You gotta understand that. You're character yeah i'm thinking uh i'm thinking either good or intermediate i feel i feel yeah. like compared to characters like smoke or johnny i feel like it's a little harder but you also have like you, you're right you have every tool so it's like you can kind of be pretty yeah so uh, i don't think we spoke about raiden either. no no we haven't so all right so my first thought is like 
I, I feel like this is probably the most common character I run into in ranked. Yeah, like this character sure, is extremely popular, he's and very popular. bro, this character seems like really strong too. In this, in he's this he's very strong. I, he's maybe if you're a new player, maybe you should pick this up. Like if you want a character that's just gonna be hitting for half your health and damage, if you can hit combos, then you're gonna play this. And he's also pretty easy to play. He's very straightforward. He got a projectile, he got a teleport, he have electric fly, which is the back forward three. Oh yeah, th this move, yeah. <laughs> this move. The, mm. Why does this have no recovery? <laughs> Yeah, it just doesn't have recovery. You can just, you can just do insane, it. If you ever get bro. put in the corner, you just yeah. jump out of the corner. Oh, we're out of the corner. He has a teleport, which is a down-up input. It's not very hard to input at all. But, um, yeah, you just teleport behind people who are trying to zone you too much. And again, you have overhead. Yeah, yeah you have the overhead, and then you have the, low, the double yeah, low string. You, yeah, I was going to say, we have the overhead. The overhead does not combo, but we have the, the triple low string, which right. two lows you can special cancel off of. So you can just kind of sit there and spam this. You don't really need to do anything else. Other than that, he does have like easy, easy to use um, launcher. So like you, do, you do uh, the ex down forward two. So pretty much any string into down forward two is gonna be your launcher. You can do forward four three down forward two. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's a whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, into whatever. Yeah, you just press your button and you launch them, or you press your, you know, your string and then you react to see if they get hit or not, and then you just use your bar and launch them. All right, I'm, th I'm thinking good for beginners. You, you have everything. You have easy, easy access to mix. Mm -hmm. it's very easy access to mix, safe block string. Yeah. So we didn't talk about we skipped over Sindel too. Before I picked Natara as as like my main, I, I actually thought about Sindel because she looks sick, right? But mm -hmm. the issue is like outside of like zoning, I'm like I can't figure out the this character's game plan. Like I know you have like a couple of moves that like charge your assist or like take away your opponent's assist, and I know you have mm -hmm. like flight and stuff, which seems really cool. But I couldn't figure out like how to play neutral with this character other than like like just throw shit and then like dash in and like hope they don't block overhead. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I think she is one of the harder characters. Like, it's not going to be easy for a new player. Because you, you you can just sit there in the zone and whatnot. But uh, the only time you're going to be able to get, like, overhead mix or anything like that is if you're able to do back two into, le like, levitate cancel. Which is, like, back two, down back two, jump two. Like, it, it's kind of, like, input intensive. Not really, like, it's not crazy input intensive, but for a newer player, it's going to be Oh, like, yeah, I haven't seen, like, anyone do that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, no one's really using that. They don't really know yet, but... I swear, like every new player gets hit by this string, though. Because it looks like oh, yeah. an overhead. And yeah, it's it looks like an overhead. That she's, yeah, it's actually <laughs> a low. You're going to have to put some time into this character to actually, like, get her to work and, you know, get her new neutral to work as well. And also make use of her, like, cameo steal and a cameo yeah. buff and stuff like that. So she definitely in the intermediate tier. One of the harder characters. All right, so Kung Lao. So, yeah, I, I just learned this character today and it took me about 10 minutes, right? I learned of Goro Assist, so you can, you know, you can do the, the easy overhead confirms or the easy EX armor confirm into, into overhead. I mean, and the, the safe armor confirm, right? The shit. The combo, like, from it's a little bit hard. But, like, I mean, you can just... Yeah, once, once you get used to it, you'll be fine. Yeah. But you, you don't even need to, like, combo off it. The fact that you just have a wake up armor that's safe and you have yeah. like, two different projectiles and you have a yeah, two different projectiles you have let's, let's see other projectile yeah this thing yeah that yeah. one's just automatically a mid but yeah character has overhead character has a low yeah, he has um, overhead it, it's mid low but the mid low can combo after a cameo and the overhead you can just combo off of in general oh yeah this move right here <laughs> yeah. yeah this string can mid mix up overhead yeah <laughs> string mix ups kill new players like yeah you could just just change it up every now and then and you'll just find your hits all the time and just wake up armor whenever you get the chance yeah wait wake up armor into goro assist or just you could just just wake up armor in general yeah yeah and you could just sit there and like play jumpy with this character you sit there and jump around and wait for something to do something and then just dive kick like really easy the one thing that i felt like was a little lacking compared to like Natara or some like someone else i played is like this mid range i wasn't really sure what to do like i don't know like we said like just Go yeah, around, where you, yeah nope, you're jumping. Or... You're jumping. That's what you do in the range. You jump. So I'm thinking good for beginners? I don't think it's well, yeah. as easy as some of the other characters. No, no, no. He's definitely not like easy as like other characters, but he's definitely good for beginners. Like, yeah. If you want to get in the, get on the game, pick him up, and I learn so. a little bit about the character and play, then for sure go for it. But other characters are for sure easier than him. Yeah, I, I agree. All right, so that brings us to Tara. So this is actually a character I'm maining. So I, I guess my first thought is she's really unorthodox compared to a lot of the cast, right? You have an air dash. Mm -hmm. You don't really have the best buttons to throw around in neutral. You don't really have like 
canned mix-up strings. Like, this is the only canned mix-up. There's not even a canned mix-up, right? It's just mid-overhead, and you hope they don't know the overhead. So, like, her mix-up and, like, close-range potential doesn't feel as strong to me. And she also doesn't have, like, a projectile to really zone. I don't know, like, blood sacrifice into this, which is, like, this is terrible. I never use that, right? Like, that is actually complete garbage. But at the same time, like, just dashing around feels, like, really intuitive to me as, like, like an anime player. Because, like, I can, like, if they're trying to anti me, I can fake it out. I can go for, like, an attack. So, like, being able to use movement to, like, circumvent a lot of the tools that other characters have feels good to me. But I also don't know, like, how good that would feel for a new player. Like, to me, she doesn't have, mm. like, anything that's, like, really scrub killer outside of, like, this back two. And then you do, like, this combo. And their combos are, like, really easy. Mm -hmm. Like you can get them down in probably like 30 minutes just doing like a basic BNB like that. And then you obviously have a low starter. And then if you pick someone like Serena or like Goro, you can do this and you know get very easy combos. And it's like the same combo for everything. She's actually like pretty easy on execution, but like game plan wise, like I can see like especially if you're new, like try struggling a little bit with zoners outside of like you know fishing for like an EX dive kick and then making sure you don't you know drop your combos. So I would say like maybe intermediate just because like it's a very reactive gameplay in neutral mm -hmm. and like you have to be very mobile you, you can't just like do one thing right you have to yeah exactly it's a game plan that you have to actually implement or think put thought into when you're actually trying yeah. to perform with this character which is something i don't think uh, new players can easily do especially if it, when it has to do with like input intensive movement so like right you got to jump and then backdash and then dive to the to the ground and stuff like that like it's not really just easy to pick yeah. and play but um, at the same time like i feel like your execution is like pretty easy she doesn't have like like Looking at some of these other harder characters, they have some really like tricky to use moves or they have like stances and she doesn't have either of those. Mm -hmm. So I think I'd put her in intermediate. All right. So here is the final tier list. Like obviously <laughs> we- Wait, is there anybody that we're missing? I think that's it. No, that should be it. Any, anything uh, we should, you think we should switch? Just look at this. I, I got, I got, I got uh, two pro players with me right now. Let me ask them. See what they think. Oh shit. <laughs> Who you got with you? Yeah, but I got Rewind and Mighty Unjust with me. But, uh, oh, shit. Uh, I'm just get some outside. All right, let's, let's, yeah, let's get the outside, outside take from Rewind. Evo champ, right? He won Evo? Yeah, he's an Evo champ. Yeah. Um, pretty yeah. much all the changes we made was we combined, you know, just because, like, the tiers were... There's only two characters in each tier, so we just combined everyone the hardest in the game. Astra is not as hard as these characters just because our game plan is really straightforward, and you don't really need to use the cancels in order to be uh, pretty effective with her. And we moved Raiden up just because, I mean, Raiden's cheap and he just does damage and he has every tool you could want so i think i'm uh i'm cool with that and yeah, it works for me too last thing the uh, the cameo tier list. here's my cameo tier list in five seconds serena and then everyone else <laughs> what's your, what's your <laughs> yeah, take yeah 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 no the serena and then everyone the only thing i would add add to that is serena and sub and then everyone else because sub is really easy yeah to actually uh what, what's that Shin, shinjuku Shin, uh, uh, shinjuku shinjuku yeah, that, that character's last. Sure, that character's hardest. No, he's for sure. Yeah, he's for sure hardest to use. <laughs> yeah, but he's really sick. I can't lie. He's, he's sick. Really sick. He's sick yeah. for sure. But yeah, that's that's the that's the cameo tier list for those that are asking. Anyways, thank yeah. you guys so much for watching the video. K7, any shoutouts or anything you wanna any, you wanna plug to the the YouTubes? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you guys can do me a favor and please drop me a follow on all platforms, whether it's, you know, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and my Twitch is just at K7 underscore show off. You'll find me there. Uh, I'll be streaming some more Mortal Kombat gameplay if you guys want to watch some high level stuff. And on YouTube, you can just look me up. It'll just be K7 space show off. I yeah, appreciate you so much, K7, for coming on and teaching me and you know audience so much about Mortal Kombat. Link is in the description if you want to check out K7. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And take care. Have a great... I was going to say have a great night. <laughs> I'm tired, bro. <laughs> Those are you talking to me. <laughs> but yeah, take thanks care, for having me for sure. Yeah, <laughs> me, bro. I appreciate it. And I, I would love to do stuff like this.